I have not posted a video in a while and for that I apologize. I have tons in the queue. I have chosen Thursday nights to be, um, I know I have a band-aid on my Ford, but just get used to it. I slammed it up against a cabinet. I have chosen Thursday nights to be the night that I post a weekly video. I have multiple in the queue. They're just scheduled to come out on Thursday night. They're done that week. So please uh, stay subscribed and enjoy. Today we're going to make a big old roll, uh, a taste dis dispenser roll for this big old roll of masking tape that's used for tons of things, including masking laser cut uh, stock, it's used for 3D printing beds, it's for painting, masking. You need a big dispenser roll and then I'm going to show you how to do it and I actually have plans below that you can uh, download that if you don't want to hack the version that I put up here. So let's get on to it. I did assemble it and I assembled it wrong. So you can see that I have things that are upside down. I have a really cool logo on the front and then I put the numbers wrong. So go a little bit slow when you put something together. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it apart, um, but I'll be able to countersink the holes and I will be able to show you how it, by taking it apart, I'll show you how it goes together and then I'll get to put it back together, so comprised of a back piece, just some scrap that I had around the shop, and uh, hopefully I can pull this apart. So I glued it up. Here we go. So here's the front part. There's two back parts. Um, okay, so here is this back part. Um, I got my little cool logo there, so I'm going to put a, a little bit more glue because that's what I'm relying on to hold it. And then I'm going to use this handy dandy paintbrush, uh, um, glue paintbrush, which I love this thing. It's just phenomenal. And I'm going to start assembling it. Anytime that I put some glue, I always wish that I were lost. Hey, you're lost. Sorry. Okay. Now this is here. Some glue. My hands are getting really dirty because I really, this uh, black stuff that's on this laser cutting thing, the black burn marks when you're using the laser cutter, it's exactly why you want to mask it. That's exactly why I'm making masking easier. That's it. Now I'll put the other side and then I'll put the back. I got this glue oozing off the side here and I'm going to put this here. Uh, bear at the top and now I get to put my back piece on my side piece by assembling this right it's starting to look really good here's my cool little side piece I got my little number that I'll explain to you guys in a future video well I'll explain it now I have this number that constantly is repeating my life it's 644 I see it everywhere every time I look at the clock every time that I look at anything it's always 644 well, do you know what that number is? It's like tons of things, and I'll, I'll talk to you more about that. That number is my first address when I was a little kid. Um, it was, I lived on 644 Camden, and that is uh, that address. Oh, man, I love this little paintbrush glue thing. This thing was like eight bucks, man. This is cool. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna slide in the back piece here. And that is it. So while I'm waiting, um, while I got to countersink some holes, I'm just going to um, clamp this baby up. All right, let me move this stuff out of the way so you can see. So now I'm going to Lamp in the back piece here. I got the plants down below, like I mentioned. So I think you could probably make this with uh, one pass on the laser cutter, 
or you could just copy it and do it out with your stroll saw or band saw or whatever else you want. So, okay, so I got that. Now I'm going to, I've got this uh, Harbor Freight uh, countersink set right here. It was like five bucks or something. So I'm going to do a tiny little countersink. Uh, well, I think I'm just going to use a bigger drill bit. Reason why I don't want to blow out these holes. All right, so here we go. Um, just showing you here what I'm doing. I'm just doing a little tiny countersink, which I could have done in the laser cutter. And I think I'll add that as an etched operation that will make it recessed. But you never learn. So this is that the files you'll download will have a little recessed area to countersink these these screws. All right, so now I have these tiny little screws here. Uh, just buy a bunch of them. They are uh, half inch wood screws, number six. There we go, nice and snug. It really makes a difference that those are countersunk. Really makes a difference. So take the time to countersink those screws, guys. It looks tons better. All right, now I think I can start removing this clamp because these uh, tab and notch design really, 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 really works well. Um, with this uh, 3 16 material, this Luan. It's just relatively inexpensive. And they can also mix uh, scrap wood in when they're making it. Okay, so here we are guys. Here's a close up of it. Here is the back side. Um, this is the beautiful little front. I'm calling it the masker. Uh, Robbie the robot right there. It's got a spot that you can put the two or three inch um, PVC pipe in here and you can drop it down there so I can get a nice little roll and then I can bring it over and cut it off with uh, an X-Acto. So let's go over and uh, install it on the workbench. All right, so I'm going over here to assemble it. This is where I'd like to put it. I'd like to put it right here. Um, just because I think it looks cool. So I got these two screws right here. Um, all the screws I have are um, habitat. And this is going to be difficult. I think we have to, uh, it's going to be very difficult to put this in. Um, I, I, I have to admit to you that I should have done something different to adhere this because it's almost, I don't know. We'll see. So I got a short screw here. So my, I, I, the pilot for the, and I'll go ahead and reflect this in the, the pilot for the screws is where I'm going to assemble it over here. It turns out that my screw holes in the back are wrong, so I'm going to drill some new holes. Um, that. Okay, I'm using these interesting bits. I do not like this. So the. The, the plans below will have these holes in the center. I'm just having trouble drilling the screws in with the holes the way that I had put them. So now I'm, I put them somewhere different. Now I'm able to put it in. There we go. go that's it so now more okay so now we have I want the paper to feed up onto the table so I'm putting the roll in feeding it 
here. Uh, whoa. So I'm gonna drop it down, put my hand underneath it, put the pipe in. Now, whoa. And now I'm able to, uh, just I've been scrapping it for a while. Here we go. So now I'm able to cut it off. And there is my dispenser roll. All right, enjoy it.